Hello and welcome to the Wood Factor. I'm Paul Wooders and it's time for another Funko Pop Tour video. Do one of these every about every year. And uh, it's a 55 minute uh, video, so kick back and relax. Or <laughs> there will be some uh, chapters in, in the comments uh, if you want to skip right to a, a, a particular section. But uh, let's see if I can talk for an hour. Or I'll just sit here and watch the video so start off with the D's D, the, let me see if I can find the categories here now we got DC Comics we have games Marvel movies music and then television alphabetical so this uh, is six six big categories I had Harry Potter and Star Wars in their own category at first and I changed my mind and said well, I'll go ahead and put their the, both movies so we'll put them in the movie category but they were big enough, I thought they should have their own uh, category there for a little while. But uh, there you go. Now, I got um, well. I'm, I got retirement on my mind. When the, I had open heart surgery last August, it's January first. Well, not January first, January eighth. Now, I've been sitting around in the house, and I ah, I forgot to do my pup fungo video. So I'm. I'm doing that tomorrow. I'm going to the DOT doctor to see if I'm going back to work or not. I should be because I'm I'm feeling fine. My skin feels a little weird around the uh, operation area. Feels like I got duct tape. I'm fine if I'm sitting still, but if I get up and stretch, then it feels like my skin's pulling. So that's something I'll get over later on. But everything else, I'm feeling fine. So. But, uh, but I'm thinking along the lines of retiring now, and I I looked and I can't retire on a thousand dollars a month. I just that that pays the bills and nothing else. So, but I don't know when I'm going to pay the house off. That's my big biggest expense. So that's that's half of my benefits right there. But uh, whatever be the case. But uh, tour video. I'm talking about me again, aren't I? <laughs> There are some pops you'll see in a couple of different videos. There are some that are not my collection anymore that are still in the video. Like, uh, well, the Pokemon, I've sold a bunch of those, but they're all still in the video. So, but I won't redo a category just because I took some pops out. But if I redo them, then they'll, then they'll go away. But there are some that are that wind up in two or three different categories. Like the... Uh, like the, uh, the, the oh, what is that? Infinity Warps pops. They're a mashup of two characters, and then they're Infinity Warps by themselves. There's a Frozen Raven and then a Dark Raven. I thought I had the Dark Raven. I'm not sure what happened to that. But anyway, um, Halo. Oh, there's a new. Uh, well, not a new, but I, I just got a uh, a series on DVD. A Halo. Uh, forget what it's called. I don't think it's Fall of Reach. I think that's a separate thing. But it's hard to find them because they could be animated. They could be videos. They could be, yeah, video games. Who knows? So you gotta kind of got to watch a uh, um, a YouTube video of them. But this, the TV series, it's, it's looking pretty good. I kind of like it. So, oh, but yeah, the Pokemon, there's a bunch of those I sold. I wanted to keep the flocked ones. And there, there's a flocked Squirtle. But I didn't want that one because Squirtle is an amphibian. He's not fuzzy. So that was kind of silly. Anyway. <laughs> but uh, I sold a bunch of them. And, and I'm out of room. I really need to sell some more. Portal I don't think I will sell. But there are some... I'm, I, being out of work, you start thinking about these things. There's, I just look at them all and I'm going, yeah, I could lose this one and... And those three right here, and then this one. There's some that I just definitely want to keep. These I got pretty cheap, so I these would definitely be up for sale. Goon Squad, the the who is that? Seven bucks a pop has them on their listing, and they're all listed as Mohawk Girl. The box says Goon Squad, but they keep putting Mohawk Girl. This one is there's a brick, the Earthshaker. He is heavy. One of the heaviest pops I got. 
Oh, Frozen Raven. Okay, because I put him in the single pops and then I added to the Fortnite listing. Marvel Comics. There we go. Ant-Man. I like the little step up. Do, 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 do. Uh, took those out of the box. That looked pretty. That looked pretty good in my out of box, in my uh, glass front shelves, uh, glass case. Some of these I could get rid of too. But so if I'm going back to work, then I'm probably not going to, just for the numbers, I guess. But I am running out of room, so I gotta figure out where to put stuff. There's a, actually some room to put a shelf, a two-sided shelf with a hinge. And a wheel, and I could. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I got the some of the stuff to do that, but whether I end up doing it or not, who knows? Bolting it to a door frame. Well, this is the second time of me going through this video. I got up to Harry Potter in the movies. I'm where am I at? I'm in Marvel right now. Up to Harry Potter, and it just went blank. All the Harry Potter stuff was blank. Just I don't know, five or ten minutes of blank. So I had, I had, the, I, I looked at my list, my list over here. And I said, well, I got everything before it and everything after it, but just Harry Potter. So, so I had to redo. So when we get to Harry Potter, that, that's all the stuff I've done before. So, well, it's going to be a while. That was like 30, 37 minutes into it, and I'm only seven minutes into it right now. So. Oh wow, what do we got? Marvel? We're up to the only up to the seas. Where are we at? Oh, we got a boatload of Marvel categories here. Holy cow. Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Oh, what else? Did I mention categories in the yeah, in the comments? I well divide up into the main six categories. Which I don't know if I mentioned or not. Because like I say, I've done this twice or once before. So I don't remember what I said then and what I haven't said now. So, but there are six main categories. DC, games, Marvel, movies, music, and television. And there are some pops that I didn't know where to put. Because they don't really fit any of those categories. So I just put them under television. Like, uh, well, there's Stephen King. He's an author, but I really don't read his books that much. Mostly watch the movies. Deadpool. Deadpool 3 coming up. They're they're in the talks right now. I don't know how serious they are with it. They, well, they're, I think they're pretty serious. Talking about well, him, uh, the Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are talking about uh, putting it together. So that would be cool. A trilogy. Pretty awesome. What other movies are coming up? I can't think. Avatar. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, I just had a horrible thought. Okay, let, let me tell you this over here first. There's a, like I said, some that wind up in two or three different categories, like this one. This is a, Infinity Warps is a mashup of Doctor Strange and Captain America. I put him in Doctor Strange, and I put him in Captain America. And I put him in Infinity Warps, so he's in three different categories. There are a couple more like that. There are some pops that only don't fit into any, any other categories, like, uh, oh, who is that? Um, I can't think of him right now. Anyway, back to my horrible thought while I think of that. Um, the power went out earlier today a couple of, yeah, a couple of hours ago. And it just came back on about 4 o'clock. It's 5.30 right now. And so what would happen if that happened again? But something, I think a transformer blew. Because I, I heard a boom off in the distance and all the power went down. And, and uh, I got something on my phone that says uh, that um, it, was, it was wildlife related. So I'm thinking a bird flew into a transformer or something. <laughs> Short circuit, it's something. Anyway, Eternals, I'm th think I saw those, but I couldn't get very much out of them because the movie turned out to be a kind of a disappointment. 
until the pops aren't worth that much. So, what can you do? Oh, this the sprite was broken. Her hand came off, and I glued it back. So it looks pretty good too. But it was kind of silly. There's there's some that I kind of put together just because like Falcon and the Winter Soldier could be two separate categories. But since there's a show, I went ahead and uh, put those in the same one along with the Wanda Vision. Wanda could have her own series or set and uh, Vision have his own set but they had the show one division so I put them together it's only Fantastic Four there's a bunch of those that go together yeah, Doctor Doom and Fantastic Four but he kind of doesn't belong there I mean he's not a Fantastic Four character but he is in the comic books a lot Reed Richards nemesis so. I like this uh, big 10 inch uh, Galactus pop. That's that's more as it should be. There's a little tiny silver surfer in there if you can see him. That, that's that's pretty cool. But that's as it should be. There's a couple things like that. I've got a, a Groot. Remember the, the adult Groot from the first movie and then a the little pocket pop of Rocket. So you got Groot, Rocket. That works. That is symmetrical. Well, that's probably not the right word. But, uh, oh, that Hobgoblin is one that I got in a, a, a special box. That it's, there's pretty rare. It's gone up to like a couple hundred, worth a couple hundred bucks. I should look that up. Ah, I'm not gonna look it up now. But uh, yeah, he was worth. Uh, I could do that while I'm sitting here doing this. Uh, who do we got? Gallery Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Who was I going to look up? Great, I forgot already. Oh, yes, I remember, I remember, I remember. They, uh... Okay, Marvel, at their one-year anniversary, had, had a uh, a year one box. And it it was, I think it was like $120, $125, or maybe more than that. I, I did a video of it, so, uh... And I did mention how much the price was. I forgot what it was now. But I did mention the price. And uh, the Hobgoblin Pop was... Let me, here it is. Uh, it should be... Yeah, right here. Yeah, he's valued at 125 right now. Okay, something just flashed on my screen. I didn't see what it was. Don't buy it. Nah, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, okay, let me... what's going on. Yeah, he started out yeah, it was worth $100 when it first came out of the box and the most it was ever worth was like 270 270 yeah, that was that was pretty cool but he's down to 100, 125 now so that's yikes that's terrible because he was hovering around well he was hovering around 100 for the longest time and then shot up and then kind of faded back off now so so who knows you never know but it was a super rare item because it was for subscribers only so but people bought them and sold them on ebay so what can you do oh what do we got iron iron man i am iron man <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh, let me put this away Oh, running out of things to talk about. But I do like my pops. I'm, well, I'm obsessive compulsive, so I just collect stuff. And I, my first pop ever was, uh, yeah, it's still coming up, was the Doc Brown Loot Crate Exclusive. That was my first pop ever. And then I went back and watched the video that I did. <clears throat> and, uh, excuse me. Apparently, I wasn't that impressed with it because I pulled it out and said, Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> maybe, I guess maybe I looked at it later and go, oh, That's actually it's pretty cool. Really cool. So, well, I got to have a Marty. So, I got the Marty. And, and, uh, 
just sprang from there. Now I have eight, 890 of them, I think. 895, something like that. That's a lot. And they're just plastered all over the place. Well, you see in the, the Nurse Self Tour video, they're just everywhere. Oh, mech strikes. Okay, there's, there's, I only have four of them, but there's more than that. Like, uh, there's Loki and Dr. Octopus, maybe? I don't remember. But I didn't really care for those quite so much. That Dr. Doom one is really cool. If you see it out of the box. Moon Knight. Okay, that, this is one I've had for a little while. Not, not for very long. About a year, maybe. Then Iraq Knight. I happened to go to Wal uh, Walgreens. They only have like about six pops in there most of the time. But I happened to stumble across a separate display and it had that in there. And I'm going, whoa, that is cool. Spider-Man and I didn't realize there was Spider-Man Moon Knight mashup. So, well, but I got the Moon Knight series on DVD, so that's pretty cool. I didn't like the way it ended. Then they had that kind of postscript, so you kind of see a little further down the road. And that was, I actually liked it then. So, it was a pretty sad ending until they added that last bit to it. Punisher, this from the comics, and this right here is from the TV show, and I'm not sure what that is. Punisher War Machine. Not sure what the mashup is on this. Shang Chi, definitely like that movie. That was pretty cool. Well, we could go to bed and get some sleep, and so we'd be well rested. Or <laughs> I like that. That was pretty good. <laughs> I got Wong was doing karaoke. <laughs> Shang Chi. Spider Man. Okay, this first one right here. This was a uh, from the Grail box. I think that was the name of the box. But it was a they had promised a, a gift, a free gift if you bought. 12 at a time. You can get 6 at a time or 3 at a time or 12 at a time. But if you got 12 then you got a free gift and then they went out of business and I didn't think anything of it. Then all of a sudden that one showed up one day and I'm going, oh, okay because they went ahead and set, set those out. It's not a very good paint job but oh well. What can you do? I like Spider-Man. I said watch one video from these one people and they had a whole bunch of Batman videos. All the different variations of Batman I want. I don't get it. And I saw all the Spider-Man ones. Okay, I get it. <laughs> but they have a... Then they came out with the Captain Universe. That, that first one you saw was Freddy, Spider-Man, Captain Universe. And then they actually do have a Captain Universe proper one. Which I really like. It'll be coming up shortly. Spider-Punk, I never... I got that one. It's probably from the animator or comic books or something. There's a lot of Godzilla. That one with the bag on his head. I, I saw that at uh, Walgreens. I wasn't going to get it. Yeah, there's the Captain Universe. The proper one. That that's. I'm glad that came out because I definitely wanted that. And that's the one that I found at Walgreens on a separate display. But anyway, I saw that uh, with the bag over his face thing, and I didn't get that. Why would Spider-Man have a Fantastic Four uniform and a bag over his head? But the more I thought about it, I'm thinking, I remember that story. He was... For some reason, he was at the Baxter building, and and uh, he didn't have his uniform and I remembered it was that uh, that black suit, that symbiote suit and he was out fighting and the Baxter building was closer or maybe he had Reed Richards help him contain the, the, the symbiote suit that's what it was and now, now he's naked and, and uh, Johnny Storm as a joke put a bag over his head and Gave him one of their old uniforms. And <laughs> so I went back and got it. But it just kind of sort of slowly came to me. 
But we're still in marble up to T right now, so it's gonna. We'll see if that Harry Potter thing messes up again. God, I hope not. I'm gonna have to go watch this video. See, I'm right now. I fixed it, and it's still on my editing software. So I went ahead and did the voice. So if that messes up, then that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad, okay? So, <laughs> oh, what do we got? Avengers, Thor. There's a bunch of Thor stuff. Beta Ray Bill. I was looking for that one for quite a while. Or Infinity Warps. Thor. I got this one before I saw the movie. That gore. And I'm glad I got it. So we're cool. Winding down the category. Oh, we still got a little ways to go in the movies. Category. We're up to 21 minutes now. So. Venom and related characters. Okay, that's what it is. I was wondering why that. Yeah, Deadpool Venom and Venom Pool. There's a couple different ones. One of the Pop in a Box exclusive. Carnage. Venomized Punisher. I got him in the Punisher category. I had to think about that one for a minute. One division. Now, like I said, I could have had Scarlet Witch in one category because I got more than one Scarlet Witch and I got more than one Mar uh, Vision, but they got the TV show, so I put them in their own category. So. And then Weapon Hex, I don't know if I said this, but Weapon Hex is Wolverine's daughter, whatever her name was, and Scarlet Witch combined. Because you can't really see that in the pop, but I looked it up somewhere and that's what they said. My what if stuff. I kind of remember the series, comic books, back when I was doing comic books. I kind of remember the series. I don't remember if I had a subscription or. Just uh, just got a, a couple comics here and there, but I probably did. Okay, me being in the background here, I I started doing that, and then I got better of it because there's it's kind of too distracting in the background. So I will likely redo this video. I, I don't know if I mentioned that I was talking about retiring, and no, I got a bunch of stuff to do around. I did not spend four months going, eh, nothing to do. I had, I got plenty to do. <laughs> but I'm thinking of redoing all these old videos just to, just to get them to look the same because they got, okay, see this one, how the, the, that centerpiece is sitting on the deck and you see other videos where it's sitting up on a platform and, uh, and then I put it back on the deck again because I redid the platform. So it'll be nice to for them to all be the same. But it's all kind of cobbled together now, so. What can you do? I was doing all that stop motion stuff, but it's kind of hard on the eyes because I didn't take enough time because you click and move it at just a little tiny fraction. Click, 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 click. And I didn't do that. I kind of separated by about a quarter of an inch, so. It was kind of jumpy and. And it was extremely time consuming because my job, I'm working 12 hour days, 14 hour days or something. And we was, oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. Whew. My screen went blank. I thought, I thought I was doing that again. It turns out the monitor has been set for too long. That was kind of weird. I mean, I just need to move the cursor every once in a while just to keep that from shutting down. Marvel single pops. Single Marvel pops that don't fit in any category with anybody else. They're just all Marvel characters. Yeah, see, not like Mysterio goes with Spider-Man, but they're just Spider-Man enemies. They're not Spider-Man. Well, there's I got MJ and Ned which are not Spider-Man, but 
they're all good guys. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I'll try to figure out where all the pops go into which category, et cetera, and et cetera. Yeah, some of these segments can get all jumpy. And that Modoc, I like that Modoc. That's a good one. Out of the box, it looks really nice. Oh, you can see all my pops out of the box on my uh, movies. There we go. On my Facebook page, that's uh, the Woot Factor. And uh, there's a, uh, photo albums, and they're all in there. At least I think they all are. I don't know. I just haven't been, like I said, I haven't been doing very many uh, mystery boxes, so I haven't got any new, very many new pops. I don't really care for the cowboy hat Marty would fly pop quite so much. I can't remember why I bought that. Oh well. Biff Tannen, that's a fairly new one. That's pretty cool. But that's the only character other than Doc and Marty and Einstein uh, that made a pop. That That's just, just a recent thing. Yeah. But there's no George McFly or Lorraine McFly or anybody else. Doc and Marty, Einstein, and then Biff. And the one Biff. I don't think there's a Chase version of him. So, Where are we at? The fifth element. And we're getting to the part where everything cut down. Of course, like I say, I'm, I am piece it all together and I'm just watching the playback because that's going to take, this is going to take a long time for it to download. Our export. That's what happens. Okay, so here we go. This one and then Ghost in the Shell is up next. I tried to sell that uh, Major with the jacket, that, that, FY, that FYE one, but it didn't sell, so I'm, I just put it back in my collection. So. I don't know if it's still up for sale. There we go. We got Harry Potter. So. Yay! <laughs> see what's going on in the background. Something else I don't remember if I talked about. I don't think I did. Anyway, there's a... If you watch my videos, in, over my shoulder is a... Uh, is a uh, Professor Chaos from South Park, uh, Butters. And uh, there's a Cartman that's made by Kid Robot. And he's about like 8 inches tall. And there's one from Cartman. I, I call it a cutaway. But it's like he split down the middle and then he shows like an, I don't know if you call it an x-ray or just kind of like pull a piece of him. You kind of see what he's like inside. And it's all money. So <laughs> but I've had, I've had that one on back order since May. Don't remember that's Yeah, I think that's when I ordered it. And every time a month goes by, they set the expected date back. Now this is this come out in uh, April, no more April, March, May, June, no wait, July. Hang on, August, September, October, November, December, January, and they, they I think they finally charged my credit card. They just sent me a note saying they did that, so I think it's on the way. But they had trouble with my credit card because I changed cards since then. It had been so long ago, but they had a current card in there, so I'm, no, they didn't. Somebody else did. I don't know, whatever. I keep getting emails from Amazon saying that so there's something wrong with my card and there's not. Because scammers just everywhere. I had like two or three emails a day saying my McAfee subscription expired and I know it hasn't. Over and over and over. God, that's irritating. Wish I could pull one over on a scammer or anything. I'm not that smooth, so. Flocked uh, Buckbeak. That, that was pretty cool. See, there's another switch where I'd move the camera closer or further. And... I got a new, uh, I got a Madame Rose Myrta pop. That was pretty cool. 
they, there's a, a deluxe with her in there in front of the Brent three broomsticks. But uh, she's not in one of the regular pops. She's not one of the regular pops. It's kind of kind of messed up, but you, you you can see her at the end of this. I kind of separated the the little pops and the big pops on some of these categories, like especially Star Wars, because that is just so long, and try to add little pops to the, and then you got to put the big pops. So I thought I'd better just separate them. Like I say, it's just time consuming otherwise. That was one of the first, that uh, Ron on the chess piece is one of the first oversized Harry Potter pops I got. I don't know if it's the first or one of the first. Did I get it before or after Hackett? Yeah, there's Madame Rose Merton in front of the three broomsticks. And then we go to, boom, Hobbs and Shaw. There we go. Harry Potter, yes. So we are back on track. That was messed up. The whole thing just went blank. It was 37, so I don't know. Something's not right. Timing is off. I thought it was at... 37 minutes, but now we're at 32 after the Harry Potter. Well, I hope I didn't mess something else up. I have a feeling I did. <laughs> oh, my, my dentist is evil because he was, we were talking about uh, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 3 when it came out. and it, they, We said something about a fourth movie and he said he didn't know how they would resurrect the, the three little dragons and I'm going what? And so I, well, I don't know if he's kidding or not because I haven't seen the movie yet at that time so but they survived so <laughs> oh Kingsman the Secret Service oh the one of the bad guys the, the gazelle was the first pop I had and the one I had for the only one I had in this category for the longest time. And I finally got the other two. So. Labyrinth, that was a good one. Luda, I put him in a hard protector because he's worth over $100. So. Yeah, see here, there's something else. I think I mentioned it before, but I don't think I mention it now. A lot of things in here aren't um, pops of the first movie but there's this like Mad Max Fury Road there were no pops for the first three movies Thunder Road and, or Thunder Thunderdome and all those other ones so but I've got some bubblegum cards from not the first movie but the second one this is my Matrix ones these are from the first movie first trilogy and there were quite a bit and then from Resurrections i got the Neo and the code Neo which I thought was pretty cool and there's a chase or a exclusive or something of Morpheus then the analysis and analyst I didn't know even existed till like oh wow get <laughs> had to have it even though he's a bad guy he's it's you know it's Doogie Howser so what can you do uh, so <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris, that's his name. Took me a while to come over. This Mortal Engines, that was a weird movie. Moving Cities, the, the cruise around. It was weird because people on the Moving Cities don't look like they're on Moving Cities. They, they, you'd think they'd be swaying around like on a train or something. But I don't know, maybe they have uh, special devices to keep it from feeling like they're moving. Or, or else it's so big that it doesn't. You don't get that same motion. So, what could you do? Let your player one. Oh, there I am back in the background. So it's been a while since I've made this video too. But I had some other pops. There were like three different pops of um, uh, the first character. I can't think of the name really right now. And uh, Artemis. Percival. That's it. And I finally got rid of those. I said, that's nah, kind of weird. 
And the weird thing is Iron Giant, he made a big appearance in the movie, but he was never in the book. Well, he was mentioned in the book, and that's it. Just a brief mention, and move on. That's it. But in the movie, he's all over the place, so. I don't know. Maybe somebody liked him and said, let's put him in a movie. Okay, so you'll notice a glitch right there. The, the, okay, the, you, okay, again, I don't remember what I said in the previous video and in this one. So the, the, the Harry Potter one went blank. And now the Star Wars one went blank. And because those are the only two that I moved them to a different category, moved them into the movie category. And so those two went blank. And uh, and rather than redo the whole video again, and this is weird, it's at 37 again, like the last one was. So I'm gonna have to watch this whole thing just to see, just to see how it turned out. But anyway, I'm not sure how this is gonna match up. I probably had to edit some stuff down to get these to line up. But uh, okay, Bosk, Biker Scout, Princess Leia, and the Labouche. Okay, we'll we'll see how it syncs out when I do that. So <laughs> I'll have to write that down. What did I say? Bosk. And I can't remember the other ones. Oh yeah. Boosh. Whatever. So um, we'll see. I'll try to use that to sync these up. Okay, where are we at? The first. God, what was the first Star Wars pop I got? I want to say it was from Smuggler's Bounty that, uh, that's probably not right. I don't know. <sighs> one of that, uh, that Han Solo one you saw a little bit ago was, uh, from Loot Crate as well. It's, uh, the Back to the Future. And so, by, that might have been my second pop. Because I did Loot Crate for one full year before I did any other boxes. Then I did uh, Nerd Blocks and those, that went south. Hard. <laughs> I think I still lost out from that. Not as much as some people that did, I, I suspect. But, uh, so would I move those two and somehow they went blank? Maybe I did it before I saved it or something. I don't know. That was kind of messed up. Anyway, Star Wars. I'm still getting Star Wars pops. Oh, I just got the, the Andor on DVD on the, on the, on eBay. That didn't think I'd be out this quick. Well, of course, there's a lot of things that I don't watch that are available long before I think they will because I don't know when a series ends when it begins so but I think Picard is Picard 3 available Star Trek Picard I kind of can't remember I don't watch TV so I don't, I don't there's no previews no trailers I just watch a lot of YouTube videos so I'm not up on things uh Yeah, Star Wars is going to be a while. Well, I need to put it over here. See, I was looking over here earlier. So it kind of, so I wanted to put myself at the bottom of the screen, like down here. So it's probably over here. I don't know. It turns backwards, I think. But I wanted to be in the corner, the lower left, looking up at what you see. I think I got that sorted out now. I wanted to get it at the right angle, so I'm looking at what you're looking at. So. I think I said that. Did I say that? I think I said, oh, there I am, dashing around in the background again. So it, these are, see how it's kind of jerky? Tick, 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 and other ones are just smooth. I don't know how they... They do that in transit. Somehow... I don't know how they... It does that, but whatever. Maybe it sits on my computer too long and it gets weird looking but it's kind of that stop motion jerk 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 but, 
uh, yeah, I was going to watch that. Well, like I say, I'm uh, about ready to get, we'll go back to work. Again, I don't remember if I said it this video or last, the one I cut. But uh, my, I got a clearance from my cardiologist that I can go back to work. Well, I left the light on back there again. And uh, now I got to see, see a DOT doctor tomorrow. Today is Sunday right now. And uh, I'm going, going on Monday. Yeah, I was worried I was going to take a, a shower tonight so I could be ready to go tomorrow. And then electricity went out and I thought maybe the water heater stopped and holy crap, I'm not going to be able to take a shower tonight. And then it came back on. I thought the water heater would run out. Or maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Whatever. Oh. I left that kitchen light on in the background there. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I retire. Don't know if I can stay in this house. Because there's kind of going to come a point when I can't take care of the place. I'm going to have to move into an apartment. Like the ones my mom lived in. And they got really small rooms, so all this is going to have to go away. So, because <laughs> I'm not going to have room for it. And mom stored a bunch of her stuff here. And I'm not going to have anybody that I can store my stuff with. Doing just as well just to stay here because it costs about the same. I know a guy in his 70s, he's getting around pretty good. But while I was had that surgery and I'm kind of hobbling around the house right afterwards. What am I going to do? I'm doing all right. Once I got over everything. So. Oh, man. Oh, I don't think I finished this. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, I was, I was editing... I don't think I finished editing, so I'm going to have to stop this again when Star Wars is over. Where are we at? 6378. See, that's now it's a little smoother than it was. 380. I think they go up to like 500, a little over 500. So there's a bunch of Star Wars pops. Gaming pops and video game pops and TV series pops and Whoop. No, that's not it. Okay, there's one newer, newer pop that's from the Andor, I believe. Yeah, I ordered it. It's not here yet, so that's gonna be cool. I'm glad I got that Qui Gon Gen one because that one original one was just so expensive. It's a little time. I'm never gonna get that. And the other one was a hologram one. I kind of didn't want that one. And then they came up with a new one. Bad Batch, I've not seen that series either. God, there's a bunch of them. Look, we got the Clone Wars and the Bad Batch. Star Wars Rebels. They're just... <laughs> it's hard to keep track of. Kind of like Doctor Who. Doctor Who is hard to keep track of. Because there's this one character and I'm like, where did he come from? So I think there's a special I missed in between seasons. Oh, I did get a new, uh, not really a mystery box, but it's seven bucks a pop signature series. And I figured since I'm most likely going back to work again, I had to have that. Because it was a, a seven bucks a pop, second chance. And it's a whole bunch of pops that they either didn't sell or they held back for this. And, uh, And so there's a, just a bunch of them. I, the, I, the only one I saw was David Tennant. I signed David. There, like I said, it's saying this year, so it's all signed. It was a David Tennant with 3D glasses, and I really want that one. And then I went through the... They had a whole stack of them, and there's a bunch of them. that I'd be okay, but I didn't really want really, really bad. Yeah, there's the one from the Andor. There's, there's some that I want 
couple of them that I want really bad and then some that I'd, I'd be really okay with having, but there's two of them that I've already got. I definitely don't want a second one. Well, I could sell them, but uh, I'd rather have something I don't already have that I do want. And there's quite a few of them, so. Yeah, that uh, Ray on the speeder, that's one that I was looking for for a long time. Great, something else popped on my screen. I looked over just as it disappeared, so I don't know <laughs> what it said. I think I'm running out of uh, this space. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop this because, like I said, I don't think I put the tail end of it back on there. I just took where the blank space is, deleted that, put Star Wars in, but I don't think I put the original back on there. So I'm going to probably have to stop this and, and I'll put it on the computer just to, just to uh, free up some space, I think. But I think once we, we get to that point, but it'll be all kind of spliced together. But And I definitely like that one, the, the Mandalorian, the big 10-inch Mandalorian. And I'll, out of the box, because it has that clamshell, and it's kind of hard to see with that plastic over it. So, so I built a... Okay, well, you notice the cut. So I got everything sorted out now, I think. But those two are the only ones that I switched categories was the Star Trek, or Star Wars and uh, Harry Potter. So this shouldn't happen again. So Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Knock on laminated simulated wood. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. I wasn't going to get these. But, uh, but uh, Jeremy Longuario. From um, God, I can't think of his name. A, he does mystery boxes, and you've seen videos. I've done videos. I'll think of it here in a second. Templar Pops, there it is. And uh, he sent me a whole bunch of Ninja Turtle ones, except for Leonardo. So I uh, so I got that Leonardo one. I got the set. So we're cool with that. Okay, Trading Place is still in movies. Well, it's going to be a patchwork, I tell you what. <laughs> I'll get for waiting until the last minute. I'm probably not going to get this done today. Well, maybe I will. I just stop and watch a movie here in about a half an hour. It's routine. And I'm, I like movies. Mo was a new one. A, a new one from the uh, the Wally series that I just got. So, Movie singles. I got a bunch of these. Edward Scissorhands. That's one of the ones on that uh, that uh, seven bucks a pop second chance. Um, oh, the deal is like one hundred seventy five dollars, and uh, you get two pops, two random, random signed pops. So, so you you only allowed one purchase per household. So, fingers crossed. Hoping for something good. I don't expect to get anything good, but that would be really nice. A David Tennant with 3D glasses, or the David Tennant with a hand, in that little container deal. Those two. And like I say, the, the, there's a bunch of them that would be I'd be okay with, with getting. Uh, Michael J. Fox, uh, Teen Wolf. Just getting one from Michael J. Fox would be really good. There's a Johnny Depp one. Oh, there was two. There was, uh, I want to say Pirates of the Caribbean. No, it was, um, it was Edward Scissorhands and, uh, Galert, Galert Grindelwald from, uh, Fantastic Beasts. Those were the two that were originally signed. I think there's still some Edward Scissorhands ones left. That would be cool, Johnny Depp one. Well, we got Def Leppard, or we're up to music now. Get my deal here. Oh, let me put this back over here so I can look where I want to look. Music. There's not too many of these, so I'll just be through in just a little bit. Kiss was my introduction to rock and roll way back in, when uh, Destroyer came out. That was 1976. So I've been fans for a while. The original 
Kiss pops are pretty expensive, so don't want to get that. It's Easy Top, another band from way back. Some of these bands have been around for 20 or 30, 40 years, and it just it's just amazing. Some of them don't last a couple of years, or some of them only have like one album and then just go their separate ways, and some of them stick together. Def Leppard, um, The Offspring, a bunch of them. Oh, Weird Al Yankovic, that new Yankovic movie's coming out. And it said the band that's with him now is the band he's had from the beginning, I think. I think that's what I heard. Oh, uh, pop albums, those are pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do we got? Is that it? Television. Okay, Altered Carbon is one. I've read the books, but I haven't seen the show. And I'm not sure it's available. It, it, I'll have to check that out. But I don't think it is. I think I was looking it up, looking it up on eBay to see if I could find it. I can't remember what I found. There's a, some signed comedian pops, a couple of Jeff Dunham pops. But I've never gone to get a pop signed. I almost did. <clears throat> Excuse me. I almost did. I was going to a Comic Con in Kansas City. I was going to see uh, John Cleese. And having signed my uh, nearly headless neck pop and Doctor Who. Oh, Christopher Eccleston. I was going to take a pop to have him sign it, except that was right before COVID hit and everything got canceled. So I missed. Darn it. <laughs> that would have been my first pop that I went to get signed. Not just, he signed a bunch of them and I bought one like those other ones which is cool but I got quite a few signed ones Ahsoka Wicket from Star Wars like I said a couple from uh, Jeff Dunham I got uh, uh, Gabriel Iglesias the fluffy guy Firefly they were talking about a reboot I'm not sure if that ever is coming out or happening or still in the planning stages or What's going on? Full Metal Alchemist got some brand new ones. Uh, the, okay, these. Okay, up to. Let me, let me point to them. Henry. Alex Armstrong. King Bradley. And Lust. I think that was the last one. And then these are some new ones right here. Had to have them. What can you do? Alright. <laughs> Scar, that was a cool one to get. I'm glad that one was available. South Park. There's got, got quite a few South Park ones. Cartman is such a <laughs> such a mess. That one uh, where he got that I think you can't think of his name. Kenderman? Kenderman? Something. Tenderman. Anyway, got him to eat his parents in a chili. He hacked them up and cooked them. And that is just the... the wow. <laughs> I know it's a cartoon, so everything's cool, but... That is... That's, I think, the lowest he ever went. That's not to dwell on that. Mr. Garrison. I should get rid of these. These weren't worth that much. The, the, the Coonan friends. Pops. But I got the. Uh, like Pop Wall, I got two rows of uh, South Park Pops, and if it, I get any more, I'm likely going to sell a couple of them. That I, don't, that I don't want as much just to maintain the two shelves like I say it's getting crowded in here digital stand oh that's in season 14 I, I, I bought a bunch of uh, um, South Park seasons and I'm up to 20 
120. Stranger things. And, uh, because the last few came in packs of five seasons. Um, 11 to 15 and 16 to 20 and I'm waiting for 21 to 25 to come out as a as a set just to get the, just to get all of them Mad Magazine if anybody remembers those <laughs> like I say that that's not really television but I didn't know where else to put them so everything kind of gravitated to the television series is this the singles yeah this is the singles right here so we're, this, we're about done holy cow are we There's a bunch of time left on this video. No, there's not. But the status bar is way over here in the middle, so that's kind of weird. That should be it. That's it. All right. So, like I say, put a comment in the sec in the in the comment comment in the comment section if uh, you think the the commentary is a good thing or uh, or not. You just like the music in the background, or if you like all the interesting stuff with it, so let me know. And uh, so we'll uh, see you next time. This is the Wood Factor. I'm out.